Welcome back to our channel. This is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis Security Systems. In today's video, I will show you how to create a live status page in Protege GX. This is very important because by default, there's no events page uh, in the system. And also, this is a very good way to monitor the system, receive events, see what's going on in the security system and access control systems that you have on a site. All right, let's go to the laptop and I will show you how this is done. The first step, you want to go under this, um, under the monitoring page, all right, and under setup. Now, there's a lot of items that we can put on a status page. It's basically like a panel that will show you exactly what's going on in the system and in real time, all right? So we can put list of devices, like doors and inputs and partitions and areas. We can also have a, um, you know, cameras, uh, master reports. So it's a very flexible uh, feature that is now available in that, you know, in, inside Protege GX. So let's go under the monitoring tab, set up, and then I'll show you status lists. So a status list is a, a list of devices that will be displayed in the status page, and it will show the live status of these devices. It will also allow you to control the devices by doing a right click on them, and then you will see a list of different commands that we can send to this device type. Okay, so for this, this scenario today, I created a list of doors that we have on this demo kit, and I created a list of inputs, okay? So let's create a new status page with these items on it, as well as events. Under monitoring and setup, you will need to go to status page editor. Now, the system will show you the default one, which is the alarms page. So you want to add another one. Let's call it events and devices, okay? Now there's different type of layouts that you want to choose from, okay? So what I want to do for now is I'll use this uh, sorry, this example here. So you see, it's really like creating, let's say a panel for you operators to see and control. All right, so what I want to do is to use um, an events page, all right, so all events, and I will configure this section for um, two columns, all right, and three rows, okay? Here, I want to put the first status list, which will be doors, okay? And then here we'll put another status list for inputs. And I will use one row, uh, sorry, uh, one column and two rows. And then we can save this. So when we go to the monitoring in the status page view, all right, I'm gonna switch from alarms to the new page we created. Okay, and you see what we have now is the list of, you know, um, devices that we have in the, uh, oh, sorry, here, so. There you go. So you have the events, the description, like that. So you can adjust these. And when you close the software, the system will save the way you have, you know, placed the columns. So I have my list of doors here. You see, we can right click on it. Then you have the different commands available for a door, right? If I right click on an input, I can then bypass or remove the bypass from that zone. And you see the live status of it. Okay. You can also detach this page and then bring it to the monitor, which is very useful. So with the same client license, you can have up to four different windows detached, but only one of each type. So I can have, let's say, the list of users on one screen, an event report on another screen, and then a status page on a third screen or fourth screen, okay? So this is basically how we can use the detach function, all right? So now, since I have saved and programmed this status page, I can see live events coming in as they are generated by the users or the devices on site, and I can control doors and inputs, okay? Again, this is a very flexible feature in the system. You can add cameras to it to see live images of the entry path to the system. Um, you can add partitions or areas. This is all we call areas, so a group of zones. We can arm and disarm them, and then um, we can also add the photo a verification feature to the event, so you see the, an, an image of the user when the badge on the on on NDR access granted or denied to a door, all right? So basically, this tutorial was to show you how to create a live events page. This is very important. You need to know what's going on in the system. The events are the best tool you can have to know exactly what's going on. When you troubleshoot and when, you, when someone is actually actively monitoring and, and, and watching the system. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel 
If you have any special requests for ICT Protege or any other products that Inaxis is offering, please send a comment below and we'll be uh, more than happy to help you.